Here we go again, baby. Here we go again. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Wait, who's Brooklyn Teddy? Oh yeah, he's just a Brooklyn guy with a wife, a kid, tattoos, and a podcast. Trying to figure it out and enjoy life. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. All right, all right, all right. Yes, welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. And this is Brooklyn Teddy Podcast 9999. Holy smokes. Right there at the precipice of the three digit. So here we are, but let's stay in the present. <laughs> July 27th. Starting uh, starting early, going to try to flesh this out for you, ladies and gentlemen here. Brooklyn Teddy Podcast, getting up, a little groggy, you know what I mean, a little soggy. Been very hot over here on the uh, East Coast, so to speak, but it looks like it's getting hot everywhere, and this is going to be a long, hot summer. Well, yeah, listen, you know, you know what I mean. Listen, take the good with the bad, all right? Take the good with the bad. Uh, so, speaking of such... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the RNC wrapped up nicely with uh, good old Donald Trump and fear and fear and uh, Americans are afraid and I don't know more fear and I don't know it was very strange because he came out with a speech and right before that I was checking the internet and there it was there was the speech already laid out for us and they went through the mistakes, and I don't know. It's just weird seeing the his the, pretty much the exact words coming into his mouth. And there was a line there for the LGBT, and he added a Q to it. And I was like, "Wow, that's interesting." <laughs> LGBTQRSTU. I don't know. Anyway, then uh, that was yeah. That was the wrap up of last week, and then of then what what. Then the Democratic National Convention is upon us, and everybody's going crazy. Yeah, Bernie, Bernie, what's Bernie going to do? What's going to happen? Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the big revolution? Uh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, in in the whole uh, nonsense there, embroiled in there was old, old Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who uh, amid controversy of some... Uh, Funny stuff going on with emails, more email stuff going on here. She uh, stepped down, uh, but word has it that literally has sucked her right back into <laughs> the system. And they went through the whole theater, political theater there on TV, going through the whole thing. And But well, funny, somehow Brooklyn Teddy Podcast got caught up in... Uh, in the politics here, you know, I talk about it, this and that. And uh, I guess one of the big things that was happening down in Philly and CNN politics uh, <laughs> put this up. Uh, so, you know, they talked about the uh, protesters being emboldened by Debbie Wasserman. So, you know, all the, all the Bernie uh, supporters. Um, they went through a listing of things that, that was going on and things that are better. And uh, at the very fifth, there's going to be a gigantic show. And guess who's tweet? they use they use brooklyn teddy podcast tweet remember i went down to the new york city cannabis parade back uh what was it summertime sometime summertime in the springtime there april something was it around the 20th or that around it 420 and i took a picture of that big inflatable joint that uh the dc mj uh, brought down and guess what ladies and gentlemen it uh showed up there on cnn so yeah i was like why is anybody liking this picture <laughs> just thinking some old picture of a big inflatable joint uh, so, yeah, they put it up there, and I guess the massive inflatable tube joint <laughs> has gone from Washington, D.C. to New York City. It looks like it went just went to Philly. So, yeah, so I got a little publicity there for Brooklyn Teddy Podcast by taking a picture of a big, giant inflatable joint. I'll put a link up on goodoldbrooklynteddy.com. You can check that out. Of course, you can always help out the sponsor with the – help out the show with the sponsors there, the good old Amazon. You can make a donation, all that good stuff. We got on it on there, a few other things. I'll be putting up some book suggestions, uh, anywhere from tattooing to, I don't know, the impending AI <laughs> – <laughs> overtake of humanity uh, and other silly stuff that I'll find on the internet. So head on over to brooklyntelly.com and check out all that good stuff. And then, so I watched the, uh, you know, 
the live broadcast of the DNC and they go through that whole charade of the votes and delegates and from the state of Missouri and blah, 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 da, 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 da. yeah, and everybody talks about their landmarks and who's famous from their little thing and then their delegate votes and like it kept going and then all of a sudden you see like, oh, you go like, wait, wait, wait a minute, does, does Bernie have a chance? <laughs> and then... No, it's like a thousand votes. And then finally comes to Bernie and Vermont. And even Vermont doesn't give 100% to Bernie. Four of the votes still go to Hillary. And, you know, it was planned already. And he gets up and he goes, you know, I am going to avoid protocol, blah, blah, blah. He gives the fucking thing to Hillary. I got to get the fuck out of here. This shit was rigged <laughs> from the beginning. And I fought it as much as I could. I'm done. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going back to Vermont and sit in front of the TV with my iPad. <laughs> something like that. I don't know. It was something like I don't know. It was a blur. But yeah, then he jetted. That was it. And then the more talking heads. Now Hillary. She. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Listen. Uh, at this stage, of the game, like every vote counts. I guess I don't know. Uh, but uh, one thing I know is. We can't have Donald Trump as the president. Come on, man. Come on. Listen, Hillary Clinton, that's one thing. That's, you know, that's the, that's already ill enough. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have Trump. That's going to be, come on, man. They're going to take back the country. And how, like, come on. Is idiocracy really going to happen? Is it really going to happen? I mean, at least with Hillary. Like, well, then my friend told me, I try, I, I, a friend of mine told me this a long time ago. Uh, when I was, you know, yeah, in politics and this and that, and he goes, he goes, yeah, I know. He goes, I know. All politicians are fucking thieves. He goes, I know. They're crooks. But when it comes to this, I guess the the lesser of two evil things. When he broke it down, like if both if both of them came knocking on your door, one of them came knocking your door, boom, 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 and you, you know, think you can fight them off or wrestle them into, yeah, you know, Hillary Clinton, I could probably, <laughs> you could probably fight her off in this analogy. But uh, Trump, I don't know. The guy's psycho, right? That guy's like her. You could probably manipulate and somehow freak her out. But Trump is just nuts. Uh, <laughs> at least he acts this way, acts that way. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, decide on your own what to do. I don't know uh, if I if I vote at this point. I think I have to vote for Hillary. <laughs> At this point, and didn't they put a pathway, a pathway for legalization? Isn't that a big thing with us Brooklyn Teddy podcast listeners? Is it? I don't know. Is it? Is it? So very interesting. Very. It was very sad. Like after a while, I could just see the, the script unfolding. Uh, and then I think later on, uh, you know, old uh, Billy, where I put the cigar, Clinton, <laughs> shows up. And talks about his 40 years with his best friend. This, yeah, whatever. You guys, this is a, co- a company. You guys, the Clinton Corporation is intact. And uh, we'll see what happens here. So, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck with all this kind of stuff. I'm going to forage into the the city today and try to finish up this podcast. So, listen, I'm going to do this weird thing where I pause it now. I'm going to go do something. And I'm going to come back and then hopefully put up the podcast. So, hopefully this all works. And I'll be back. Whoa, made it. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it was Wednesday. I was recording the podcast. Next thing I know, I'm in a whirlwind. Somehow I end up in Washington, D.C. Somebody's got a magic butter machine out there. I don't know, but uh, I'm back. I don't know. The, the po- Sorry for the podcast. Uh, coming out late. Uh, it's Friday. Holy smokes. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll put a link up there and go to brooklyntay.com if you want to try that butter machine. A friend of mine turned me on to it. Uh, so I went to D.C. for a little while and checked it out. Uh, had a little, you know, uh, infused butter coffee. Uh, yeah, spent a couple of days. Um, uh, yeah, you know, enjoying. Anyway, anyways, what's going on? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Now you're supposed to accept this, the rig, you know. So the obvious is the obvious, and the obvious is, I guess, the obvious. So anyway, 
Uh, fuck that for a while because I'm tired of talking about it. And even the little bit I've talked about, it, I'm tired of it already. So anyway, I was checking out good old, you know, uh, Netflix. Yes, Netflix. Um, I, my subscription's going to go up. You guys, I give you guys so many plugs. <laughs> you guys should hook me up, man. What are you talking about? But anyway, there's also a little, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, a, a not an unsolicited plug for uh, Jim Jeffrey's new uh, special that he has on Netflix. This is the second one. The yeah, first one was Bear. If you haven't seen that one, that one's good. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoy Jim Jeffrey's brand of comedy. Um, and uh, yeah, so you know he's a little over the top there. I don't know. I kind of liked him better when he was a little more of a drunk. <laughs> But he's still he's still good. I don't know. I I like this show. It seemed it seemed tight. Um, there was of course there's been a lot of controversy uh, over some of his jokes, but they're jokes, and I don't know. But anyway, so I I went over to Netflix. You know they, you know it's nice if you can. Uh, you know you rate somebody's thing. Ah, you know I really liked it. What the fuck, Bob? And I rated it. I was about to write a review. I'm a little lazy about it. I, I, I basically copy and pasted what I put on Twitter, which uh, uh, Jim didn't respond to, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Think I care? What the fuck do I care, Jimmy? Anyway, but whatever. I liked the stupid... Uh, I liked it. I liked the, the comedy uh, event there, Netflix, uh, Free Dumb. And yeah, so there's, you know, of course, there's this brand of humor. There are, you know, there is that little slew of rape jokes, but it's taken in context of... It was just if if you can't take a joke, then fucking don't don't watch it. All right, then go watch something else. Okay. But the social justice with the warriors are out, boy. After so the first review was like first is one star. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I I I loved it right away. I was like, this is ridiculously funny. This is you know four star. Oh, the atheist part. Some people, are, oh, the rape jokes, but it's not really a rape. It's not a joke about rape. But anyway, if I have to explain it, then you're stupid. Okay? Um, so here's one. After five years, my first review, the rape jokes are not funny. Period. I usually love comedy labeled as offensive. <laughs> In this case, it's truly not even a matter of personal offense, but about how little this guy understands about the lax attitudes about sexual violence that he himself portrays. Ay ay ay! I can't even finish this. This is so lame. Just shut the fuck up! Don't even like don't. Come on! <laughs> ay ay ay! There's a couple other dumb fucking moronic things here. Yeah, no, I feel for all the people that watch this and are actually into this type of humor. Kind of whack that someone even likes this garbage enough to pay him to fly overseas and pollute the airwaves, which is trash. They should give me that money instead. That was another fucking genius. <laughs> so anyway, Jim Jeffries, uh, free dumb. He's a uh, free dumb. Uh, check it out on Netflix. There, it's really funny. I'm not going to reiterate his jokes, but um, if you like that edgy comedy and can take a few jokes, you know, can take a joke and uh, you know, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, so yeah, check it out, Jim Jeffries, uh, free dumb. On Netflix, baby. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, uh, and I meant to talk about this. Uh, this is another Netflix uh, situation here, I guess. Uh, and I meant to talk, talk about this uh, special, which I saw a while back. And uh, i tell you the truth. All right. So, you know. Netflix, comedy, I hate, you know, I hate, I, I hate going out, basically. So, yeah, Netflix is there, you know, if I can find the time, uh, throw on some headphones and the kid, uh, he can watch his iPad and, and uh, I'll sit down, and, you know, have some dinner and watch one of these comedy specials. So, uh, I started watching uh, Ali Wong, Baby, Baby Cobra. And I don't know, I, the cover art got me, I don't know, it was like, like the Las, was it Las Vegas? Is it the Las Vegas? I don't know. Whatever. There's a, the tower. That's the what is it? Is it in uh, the stratosphere? <laughs> Whatever it is. What are those? Was it Vegas? I don't even know. Was it Seattle? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so I saw that thing there, and 
you know, she's got these snazzy red glasses and she's bent over and I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> went to D.C., sorry. Went to D.C. But anyway, so Ali, Ali Wong. So I started watching it, uh, The Baby Cobra. So I started checking it out. And, and, and the first couple of jokes, the first couple of jokes started with the, you know, oh, you younger women, blah. And I was like, oh, no, this is going to be some bullshit. And I go, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to cut my losses now and stop this. Okay. So I stopped it and whatever, moved on. And a couple of days later, uh, you know, I'm a fan of Mark Marin. I saw the name and I go, let me, let me listen to what she's about and see if this is any good. And I listened to the Mark Marin podcast with Ali Wong. And he was, I don't know. He was taken boy he was loving her and loving that special and oh boy and under none and she's the real thing and i don't know and then i started hearing some of the stories and the jokes we're going to talk i was like oh you know what? let me give ali wong another chance and then uh i am a fan ladies and gentlemen i have to admit uh fresh off the boat uh i liked it a little bit better when it focused around the kids a little bit more and it threw all that uh like Late or yeah, early '90s rap stuff in it with um, what's that kid? Uh, Eddie Wong, Freddie Wong, <laughs> Freddie Wong, Freddie Wong. No, it's Eddie Wong. Um, and it revolved around his childhood more now around the parents, but I don't know. Uh, I I don't know. I, I I get a little stiffy for the the mom on the show, Constance Wu. But and I don't like and nothing wrong with Constance Wu. I like Constance Wu, but I like the character on the show more than I like Constance Wu. I like and I found out that Ali Wong is is one of the writers there, and I kind of started hearing her voice through the comedy. Oh, okay, so. I started watching it like, and like I said, I had like a slow start for me, but little by little, it's really good. And she kind of doesn't uh, acknowledge the point because she's pregnant. She starts out, you know, she comes out with a giant, you know, pregnant belly. This little cute kind of sexy Asian lady walks <laughs> out with these, uh, you know, snazzy red glasses. And uh, so I started and little by little, and then you know, there's a. Uh, there's a, there's a joke about uh, digits in uh, the butt, butt butthole. <laughs> How she enjoys sticking her finger uh, in a man's asshole. <laughs> and I don't know. Like, and the guy she's like met up with, they were like, oh, oh, she didn't meet up with the right guy because. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have met her, she would have stuck her. She could have stuck a whole arm in my ass. I wouldn't have felt anything. But anyway, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, anyway, Ali Wong, uh, well, she's married and had a baby and everything. But anyway, anyway, uh, very intriguing, funny thing. Like I said, like, right away, you know, you get a funny impression. At least I did. Uh, and I don't know. I've been trying to wrap my head around different types of comedy uh you know i come from the old school all right so you know listen i'm trying to broaden my horizons all right okay all right okay and uh you know comedy is from perspective so sometimes your perspective but it was this was very entertaining uh i would give it okay i'm not going to give it the i'm not going to give it the i'll give it the four okay because the beginning starts a little slow for me but i see how it works into like do you think it's going to be this thing, and then it totally opens up, and she's fingering assholes, <laughs> and she's pregnant, and she's like, you know, opens up about her sexuality, and, and she's kind of sexy, and she's, and anyway, anyway, my, but anyway, so getting back to this, the review, so I was going to write a little review, you know, it's good, you know, go head on over to iTunes and write a review, Brooklyn Teddy, that guy. I don't know, he went to D.C. and he started mumbling. I don't know. His podcast took two days to come out. I don't know. But <laughs> every time I listen, that motherfucker's laughing. <laughs> so anyway, so so it starts out really, you know, up. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Ali, is, uh, uh, Ali is nonstop laughing. Blah, blah, blah. That sounds a little fake. <laughs> I thought her material was creative. It's good. Then. 
the best are you go to one star, pretentious, typical collectivism, sense of entitlement that goes beyond what one deserves. Must see if you're interested in viewing a culture that feels they are deserving of entitlement they don't deserve. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the, what, this person went to see comedy and this is what they got? <laughs> I thought comedy was supposed to be funny. Guess not. She's pregnant. How brave of her. Who cares? I'm sure the feminazis are like this shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh... Not funny whatsoever. She sucks wasting my time. <laughs> Some people sat down like, yeah, here, here's a good one. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> this one starts out. One star. So depraved and disgusting. I had to turn it off after three minutes. <laughs> I feel bad for a child. Absorbing all white men's privilege. Oh, I get it. When minorities say racist things, it's funny. But when the white males say these same sack jokes, it's racist. Freedom of speech is such a double standard. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. Well, anyway. Um, oh. All right. I got to I got to let me try to go through one more. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. And, look, and listen, the, the, the comedy special is funny, but reading the reviews, uh, <laughs> this was very funny, except for the part where she makes fun of miscarriages. That's not funny to someone who has had two. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that, was, that was a review? <coughs> anyway. Anyway, check it out for yourself. Uh, and dudes, if you got a, a, a fetish for Asian women, especially pregnant Asian women, she's right up your alley. No, just kidding. She's very funny. Uh, looks like, um, and she writes for that uh, fresh off the boat. Uh, I don't know. I look forward to seeing more of her stuff. Uh, and I, hopefully we could, you know, the next one will be about her breasts. <laughs> and breasts. <laughs> I see. All the fucking lewds. Come on. All the reviews. So now I, I knew I knew reviews were, were funny. <laughs> These are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, just go for the most not helpful ones. <laughs> like these people are nuts. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. So yeah, so check out some Netflix if you have the time. I don't know, it's been hot as hell. Over here in the in the New York area, these last couple of days, I, you know, I'm always complaining about the weather. Either it's too cold or it's too rainy or it's too hot. What the fuck are you gonna do? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, they say it's gonna be a hot one. Is there some storms coming? I don't know. And this is the weather report with Brooklyn Teddy. But anyway, nonetheless, I want to thank you for listening and downloading the Brooklyn Teddy podcast. Uh, head on over to brooklyntay.com. Check out the sponsors there. You know, good old Amazon there. You can check out, you know, put in something there. Um, you know, uh, I can't even think of anything. I don't know. Breast pump. Oh, yeah. Um, and another weird thing. I, I don't know. I Somehow, I don't even know how I got to this. Uh, I don't know. I was probably putting something weird in Google. And then uh, last night, I didn't know there was like, the, there's like and, you know, breastfeeding and um videos and you know that's great whatever it's just awesome my wife breastfed little ed there that's a good thing i think it's a good thing i mean i, I there, there should be a cutoff you know <laughs> some videos look a little unnerving but anyway so uh i don't know they got some really uh hot women <laughs> out there doing these videos and they got these kids just mauling their breasts but it was like so. I don't know. It was like it's it's such a funny feeling when you see that. It is. I mean, I don't. You know, it's nothing. I, I can't condemn it all. I think she took out a boob to feed a kid. Uh, no, I'm more than happy. Please take out your boobs and feed your kid. But it is when taking out of context and the way we've been conditioned. When you see a pair of boobs, it yeah, there is a there is a little whatever. And then so I don't even know how I got to this video. I don't know what I put in, but somehow I was like, what? It was like uh, a mastocyst or something. So <clears throat> I guess there's some clogging in the milk duct or whatever. I don't know. And this this like gorgeous <laughs> woman is telling me how to get rid of it. 
with these. Uh, I don't know. Like if she was, I don't know. If I was her man and she could look like that, and I'd be like, oh, well, I don't know. After you see that, <laughs> after you see childbirth, things do change. It takes the things. The whole perspective. If you if you're there, watch the, the perspective changes a little bit. You know, the illusion, <laughs> the illusion of a woman. You know, that's it changes a little bit. You know, you kind of realize, oh, we're just these filthy animals <laughs> with these little monsters just ripping at your tits. <laughs> but anyway, I ran across the other side, and like, and you, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. You go. I can't get turned. I'm, I shouldn't be turned on by this. But why am I getting turned on by this? Oh no, this little baby! Let <laughs> me shut this off immediately. Ah, oh, but anyway, sorry, folks. Sorry, sorry. I went off the deep end there. But anyway, BrooklynTeddy.com. You check out. I post a video. I'll, I'll put a link up to that if you want to see it. <laughs> you got to sign in. But anyway, it is nothing dirty or anything. It was just like she's an attractive young lady uh, with these gorgeous breasts and gorge with a towel that she's squeezing it and. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, that was a good instruction video. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'm, excuse me. Pardon me. You know, I went to D.C. for a while there, and I had, I came back, and uh, I feel much better now. Uh, so, yeah, BrooklynTelly.com. Check out all that good stuff there. Amazon uh, on it for all your uh, health needs there, you know, kettlebells, videos, all that kind of stuff. Head on over to BrooklynTelly.com. Hit me up on the good old Twitter Brooklyn Teddy 13 on good old Twitter. And, yeah, so write a review. Or you can go to Spreaker or wherever outlet you listen to. Stitcher or on there. You know, if you're having trouble finding a podcast or tell your friends, hey, listen, I'm listening to this jerk, <laughs> Brooklyn Teddy. And he makes me crack up every once in a while, you know. And his podcasts are about a half hour, you know, make you laugh. You don't have to commit too much time into that shit. Just enough to make you laugh. Uh, you can write a review or donate through the PayPal link there on brooklynteddy.com. And, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, tell me what you're doing. Oh, I'm going to try to check out. I, well, do I have another podcast? No, I think. Oh, boy. I don't have a uh, – I guess I'll have a, a, a review, a story about uh, going to Jim Brewer. I don't know. He played the Knitting Factory a couple of times. Somehow I ended up getting a, sh- a ticket for August 1st. I fucked that up, too. <laughs> I probably went to D.C. before I went there. And um, I'll be checking out Jim Brewer's uh, – Act there, the loud and rowdy, uh, the heavy metal comedy show, whatever's going on there over at Knitting Factory. So I guess I'll have a report for you guys on that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I leave you until next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.